Fab will have the final word. Go ban Clubhouse and take us to Cafe Dostoevsky where they are starting off on defense. Here, Fab are struggling a little bit because they're out of options. They've got no frag grenades left. They've got no Zofia. They've got one breaching round rest. They've got to make it work. Only 15 seconds on the clock. Fnatic have stalled them out. That jump out really put a dent in their wings and this round's going to fall by the wayside. Fnatic leaves Fab with no option but to lose the first round. There's what? also someone actually sat on stairs. It is Alfama, Shock Horror, with a shotgun in hand. Hello. Here comes the rush, and the Ash just completely runs past him. They have no control of White. They're trying to swing in windows, but Stiggs is on the door. Alfama's back round for a triple kill. They've rushed around a corner straight into a shotgun with zero awareness of what was going on. This happened last week for Fab when they came up against Kagan. They don't get an exact ping. He misses oh, his first wait. two boards. It's going to be a problem. So here we go, and there's the freebie. How do you paint a pretty picture of a really big car crash? Uh, you make it pretty by saying that no one was hurt. It was just a really mm -hmm. exciting thing that all kids do when they're younger and grab two toy cars. Well, I am trying to think of ways to paint the strategy of that. A play going down already? Where are the defenders? Oh, where's Where's the bandit gone is my number one question. He was holding this area earlier. The echo gets in, does deny it at the very last second. And the run with the shotgun. It's in, boys. Picks up Afro. Four versus two. And now they can look for the plan. K-Razor, once again, in a big power spot. Gets one blast. There's five seconds to play with. They don't know. He's trying to blast it out. Could surely go for a plant once again. He will go for it. But there's another. We spoke about this, oh. Jess. He's interrupted it again. Oh, the Alphama says, I'm just going to walk on in, boys. To walk in and try and plant, I guess. Number two's come up with the oh, the drop. He didn't anticipate it to come down so quick by the looks of it. And all the pressure now falls on Fab to get back control of the site. But they've also got to get a defuse. It can't happen. <laughs> Alfama can just wait. He sees the peak. He sees the arm. He's got a challenge right now. He gets the no. down, but there's no time. He's a second too short, and that is going to feel bittersweet. After he found a triple kill, Fnatic will move up to match points. They've also got K-Razor in utility to play behind the shield. Five seconds left. They're rushing site. They're going for it. They're changing the plan. <gasps> spot but they forgot about white it wasn't fully clear two versus two they've got to make it happen now 1v1 fab we're gonna force us through to overtime for you're now. down to 20 seconds left you just gotta flood the spot <laughs> They're just marching forwards at this point, trying to take what gunfights they can. Three kills fall the way of Fab. They've took it to a five versus two. It's brought back. It's a one versus three. It's Alfama. And like that, Fab, with no time left, have marched their way to victory. Eight and six in overtime. Fnatic going to feel heartbroken. The first half that Fab would walk away with the win, I would have said you were absolutely lying I to me. I don't take us to Villa with that final ban. A lot of these rounds have been a defending sided, and it's not looking that way if they come storming through this way, but... Hey, guess what, boys? A couple of drones would have helped you out here, but it doesn't matter. A lot of immediate aggression coming in from C9. Who's, who's from it going to be? Is it going to be the carbine or will it be the uh, assault rifle? And nevertheless, trades back and forth. I tell you what, a little bit of coordination goes a long it's way. And the spot was the play for the Jaeger, but it just doesn't happen to be. Did he double kill? Just try was and get it? those stun grenades in and create to carve an opportunity for that diffuser to go in. This is the extent of the push now and shut down by Yaeger. That's attack number two done, dusted, and unsuccessful. That final 30 second execution phase. Rin taking big damage from behind as Harper shuts him down. Three versus three, but we have a man down and dead inside of sight. Katsang getting his first kill of the day, oh. but Nova and Harper go wild. Katsang has two kills to his name. Find that to be no. three. One versus one. No, Harper manages to step out and close down the round for Clown no, Nine. Looking Barry. for that north sided approach again. Are they aware of Courted? Absolutely. Where they are. Harper moves in, swings on the corner oh. and gets a great kill. And it gets in by the maps, avoids the default spot quite correctly and gets the diffuser down because of it. The Nitro being completely unsuccessful. Kills raining in on both sides. And this is two versus one. Woogie Man has it all to do with diffuser down on the ground. He's going to head for that disable. Is there somebody in a position to challenge? Absolutely there is. Shio moves in with a headshot. And the aggression from C9, I said before, are they going to keep aggression? Yes, they will. Oh. They don't care that they lost the previous round. Momentum doesn't shift and all of a sudden <gasps> they do oh, it everybody gets one just like Henry <laughs> Taylor got Kat Sang Nova moves in this is an absolute 
storm from Cloud9. He's looking to move directly in Route 1 here to site. Manages to find himself a third as they go out. Envy Taylor in position beautifully. Rear there because he is about to be pushed from the study side. And here it comes. He gets pinched fantastically. It's Rin that manages to find the kill. Quartered has to get in there with the diffuser but won't be able to get through the toxic babes. This could come down to kills. Four seconds left to go. And Dan one able to find two. It's Yas, the man once again, who steps up, finds the Position kills. 15 when seconds left to go. Still five versus five. This is going to be a bloodbath. Jess, as they move in, Quartered finds the first onto Static. But it's going to be a real battle against the clock for Dan one More than a battle against Cloud9. Envy Taylor and Charla called them out throughout the round. Two apiece. They were unaccounted for. They were not given the respect due and they have just made damn one pay the price the smoke player of nova making sure all three smoke babes yeah, were we'll available. go to consulate and cyclops starting off on defense across it these might. many windows with replica suffering the jump out catches the nomad is caught in response by 11 which is a very vital important pick there because if they've been able to get away with that well they try again and they do mozzy they might try and see for it there's a moment for him to take success and he does He's going to receive some pressure now, but Black Ray able to pick up that Yo. kill for his lap. Oh, that's a bit of a tough ask, and they're not even going to let him into the building. Manaton is about to try and take some of it back. They're concerned about the angle. They catch him as he goes through the connector. Black Ray has a response. There is Suzu C with somebody in anti-chamber, and there is Replica with revenge. Now it's a two versus two, but two seconds. They have the angle and defuse a cold. Replica can't lock it off. Pressure. They have no idea. Each other is just round the corner. Finds one. You have to get this revenge now sprays through the wall and there it is but... to strike very hard as he gets the first one of the potential two or three that's chasing him more pressure coming around from printer and he doesn't quite find the second though revy gonna try and bury himself behind the black car Ooh. doesn't get caught in the next smoke a fantastic repositioning finds some success but there's the swing and there's a post plan and some revenge suddenly Ooh. there but it's the swing on the angle they might not know it's being diffused they get one they go for the next and they oh. find it 11 stop this approach but black gray might not be aware of where they are they're not there's the second for 11 but in the meantime suzu c has seen the site and decides he wants to take it there's one body putting pressure here there's the diffuser cold inside connector vamos is able to find a very important frag and 11 has a lot of rotating to do but gets caught off by gatorada watching the opposite side now vamos. they go for the close quarters there there's a man on the wrong side of a shield there's the rotate coming through and vamos just has one more to put through sees the pop sees the pellets sees the possibility Ability of being able to pull this back. He drifts to the other side of the heart, but he can't quite get at it. Cyclops. They find another attack in a row. It is going to come down to paying attention and gunning and hopefully some smokes. As and that means they don't no, uh, no longer will have to worry about that as a rotation will be virtually impossible. And now 11 will be taken down from the win. Anaton able to pick up that kill. Sit, Vamos is in a very tricky situation and he doesn't even get further into it. Cyclops. Wanted to give a demonstration after what happened to them last week against the league favorites. Very high powered killing machine is whirring in perfect synchronicity. Clubhouse will be our map the here. Breach, sorry, onto the construction wall. Now we're starting to think about what they can push in for. Lily finding a second kill from out here to the west window. Tries to find another, but it's Yura to pick up Soldier instead. With 15 seconds to go. Can Labyrinth and Canos hold on? Canos finds the first one. The second one comes through for Labyrinth. Suddenly it's a three versus is two. They almost found another, but it's JJ to win that trade out. One versus three. The plant is now going down, but it's in the wrong place for Canos to be able to deny. Surely he knows. He flicks onto the guy out in the balcony. Knows that there is one because he can see the gun. He's just waiting for it to move. He was going to go and challenge, but Crazy's inside a cache. Brings him down. And popping up like he's playing whack-a-mole in different parts oh. of the map. He's jumped into a frost map. Ace cries out, lets out a weep of pain. He knows all too well what this feels like. But as he again has sprung up in yet another location and found a kill for the team. Team. Two kills come swinging back, but Labyrinth tops it up to go three and two. Another kill comes out. It's Azzy with three kills in a round with Labby two to himself. Right well. now, Des, there's a lot of utility being expended in, on the side of the attackers, and that is not good at all going Ooh. in without vision onto blue stairs. Canos getting a little bit carried away, though, Des. An explosive exchange at the beginning of this round, but look, look at this. Guts, they're just heading straight into sight. They tried to push dirt. They're going to be hurt. Crazy Ooh. Papi on with a team kill as well. It's also starting to fall apart for the Japanese side here, but Crazy Papillon manages to get in, make amends. This round swinging back and forward, all down to tomorrow, shut down by Lily and Guts. They take the round, but 
Whew. That looked like it could be Talons. Okay. It could Compare be that to how it shaped up earlier on when Guts were the ones on attack and they had it open in 60 seconds. They have to deal with that situation because right now they, they don't have catwalk. They don't have anything. And this is going to be a difficult, difficult situation for Talon. JJ unable to escape with his life, but his job is largely done. 15 seconds left to oh, go. My but the kills start to mount up. There is no answer to this other than aggression coming out of Talon. Light shut down in the corner. And as I'm saying it, there's, it should have been a guts round. They wasted two and a half so minutes. actually going to head underneath here. Is there the potential? Potential for a nitro denial. He's going to have to time and oh! execute perfectly, and that is exactly what he does. Nitro comes in from the hatch, takes down Soldier and Labyrinth, and just spins this round on its head. Light doubles down, finds a kill onto Kanos, and right now, four seconds left to go. Diffuser down on the ground tomorrow. There is nothing that he can do. Shut down today by Yura, and that's going to be Guts Gaming taking the round. Yura, we yeah. knew. But I imagine that Zofia needs to get closer sooner rather than later to help when it actually comes to the push. What an angle from JJ onto Azzy. The server stack where you would normally plant, so you're not trying to prevent people from getting into CCTV at the minute. The attacking push is coming in to cash, and that is exactly what we see. They're being cut down one after another, because guess what? There's no cover for them, because the Zafia is covering the red door. Now, Soldier will start to put the diffuser down. In comes a Nitro from distance. JJ will have one underneath, and he's not able to make an impact, but Light and Yura do the job. <laughs> And they're able to get in without any trouble and get that diffuser disabled. I just think the setup from Talon wasn't quite right there, Des. Kanos the was a non-entity, had zero impact at the very end. A little bit of a scrappy end to that one for yeah, that's Talon. The main thing for us is the rankings at the end of day two, stage one of 2021 season. Cyclops at the top with Cloud9, six points each. Unfortunately mm. for the fans out there, these two will only be playing come play day seven. That's going to be a while from now. Guts. Talon at three points each, DWG and Fab Gaming, Fnatic at two points each. I don't know why sometimes my brain turns into mush. And then T1 at zero. Mushy performance so far, but we'll have yet to see more performance from this team.